Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. Our next mod's here, so stick around. And we got one of these. She's a kitty. Name's Triku. And she's 12 weeks old. Right, we'll see if I can actually open this neatly. I ordered this from Amazon, but you can get it from the vendor directly. Uh, it's from Tweeties.com. And it's a brand new Bluetooth Bauer Electric Travel Trailer Lock. So this particular unit comes with a Bluetooth app for your phone, and it's available for Android and iOS. And it allows you to control your lock within Bluetooth range anyways from your phone. It It's not Wi-Fi connected. It's not a full smart product. So... If you're out and about, you can't lock it from a distance. Uh, it's only going to be Bluetooth range. But the thing that I really love about this product is it allows me to keep all my keys in my in my bag so I don't have to go fishing for them when it's rainy, when it's cold, when it's too hot. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't have to go fishing for them. It does allow you to put in a code, but the app should do uh, should do the trick to do the unlocking. Uh, another amazing feature of this product is it actually has a proximity sensor. And so the proximity sensor is just like if you've got you know a fancy vehicle like we do, uh, when you just walk up to the vehicle and you you open the door handle, it unlocks automatically. This provides a similar functionality so you're not having to type in codes. You do have to press the uh, one of these buttons, the, the BP button, it looks like there, and that will unlock the door for you. So if your hands are full, it's a lot easier to deal with. And it's, it's, it's simple. So that's the product we've got today. We'll walk through all the parts, the physical install, the app install and configuration for Android. I don't have an iPhone. So I won't be able to show you the steps for that, but it'll probably be pretty similar. And also some configuration things that I've found based on reading and watching other reviews of this particular lock. All right, so let's get into it. There's your instruction sheet, which isn't really instructions, it's just links to instructions. You might be able to scan that QR code and get to the instruction manual. And of course, you have the main lock body. There's your keypad. Um, so you, you'll be able to set your code and that's gonna be your unlock thing. Comes with two keys. And it is uh, weather sealed. I don't know what the IP rating is on it, but it does have a nice foam surround here. So as you screw this into your door, it's going to it's gonna create that nice tight seal. And presumably beneath this panel here, that's going to be sealed as well. They do have hot glue and everything, it looks like, holding things together. So should be well sealed from the elements. And then, of course, the inside door handle. And again, uh, it still has the QR code here and it looks like batteries are going to be included in this one. I don't want to pull that off just yet till I figure out how to actually put this thing together. So, and then your lock mechanism it does come with the door plate and the striker plate that goes on your frame. And it does appear that all the hardware to bolt this together. So it'll get assembled together like that. And this will have to plug in somewhere right in that little bit right there so on this little clip we have a little bit that opens and closes that bit needs to be pointing down on this latch it's the right hand latch or right hand door latch so it's going to go in 
with that bit pointing down and it will snap into place. So should be pretty simple. Cool. Well, we'll go ahead and get this bad boy installed. Did I really just say get this bad boy installed? So the original lock just has the same four screws. I'm not going to show you taking out four screws. It's pretty simple. All right. So that was pretty simple. And then there are two screws on here that need to come out in order to pull the whole handle off. They say that this plastic piece also needs to come out. It was right up in here somehow. So that needs to come out as well. All right, in this hardware bag, there are two types of screws. Uh, there are four that have a little bit of a rounded head. Those are going to be to hold the two parts of the handle together. And then these ones with the flat head, I don't know if they're picking up real well here. Uh, these ones with the flat head, they are going to be to hold the, uh, whatever they call this, <laughs> the door lock. That's where the, the latch comes through. So yeah, that little bit does not fit. I tried it out for you so you don't have to. When you're putting this in, it needs to be able to swing in and with that on there, it's just not going to work. So I'll save you that hassle. And I'm going to call this the latch plate. I don't know if that's a technical term. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed using those two flat head screws. Or the heads are flat, they are Phillips, not to be confused. So we'll put this on. That'll hold the door side of the latch on and it'll make the flight way easier. Right, so it's a little bit of a tip time here. Uh, we used to have problems with our old latch coming loose while we were traveling down the road. So on all the screws, I just use a little bit of blue Loctite liquid. Give it a good shake. And what that's going to do is it's going to prevent those screws from backing out while you're bouncing down the road. So as we just put a couple of drops right on the threads. So I am going to leave it a little bit loose. Give it a little bit of play just so that as I connect this up, I can make sure that everything gets centered real well. And same deal. I am going to put Loctite on these screws as well. I'm going to want to get the wires in there so it's not uh, wrapped up in anything. And I'm not tightening them all, all the way down until I get all of them started. And there you have it. Just a standard door lock. Let's make sure the keys work. Now that I have it all the way in, why would I, why would I test it beforehand? Sorry about that cable in the way. I don't know how long that's been there. So it is a standard uh, two lock deal. The one, which prevents the handle from opening. And then the other one operates the deadbolt. All right, hardware's done. That was easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scan this little QR code here, if I can find the item. There we go. All right, so Android app. I've already installed it and only took a minute or two. So that's the app. So it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. However, uh, the same button labeled one, two is the same button whether number two is desired. So, meh, is what it is. So it has a preset factory code, 3715. So we're going to want to go ahead and uh, change that. So 
And the button with power product symbol is the enter button and is required to be touched after the code is entered. A successful code entry will be indicated by two short beeps and the touch indicator will flash green twice. So let's see what this thing sounds like. Pretty quiet. And it locked. And then to lock it, or sorry, after valid code entered, it can be locked by simultaneously touching the seven and eight buttons. Okay. So we'll put in this code again. That lock unlocks it. That locks it. Sweet. Now, to program your number, and this is going to be fun, um, so you're going to enter the pre-validated code, 3715, enter, and then you're going to press the 3, 4 button, and the enter button for two seconds. I'm going to do my code off screen. There we go. <laughs> so there's our new code. My new code works. Now we're going to go ahead and try to hear this for the smartphone. So you enter. Let me make sure that uh, the factory code no longer works. So I've got my new code in there. So three, seven, one, five. As soon as you set your code, factory code's no longer valid. That's good. From the Bluetooth side of things, enter the four digit code and touch the one and two and seven, eight buttons simultaneously. Okay. So once you do that, it's in pairing mode. So we'll hop back over to the app. We'll click add. And as you can see, as we get further away, it lessens the signal. Oh, you got to pair pretty quickly, apparently. That fooling around made it time out, so. All right, it says, hey, do you want a pair? Pair it. All right. It is locked. And it's unlocked. That's cool. So. So I'm normally parked here in the, by the truck. And it's a little bit too far away on this side of the truck. I'm in the truck. And it is a little bit too far to go from the truck through the glass. So that's good to know. It's available. And
Okay. Now, we've got proximity mode. Because this is rich people problems. I got proximity on the truck and the car. So we're going to enable it. And now what we'll be able to do, hopefully, is go ahead, lock the door. I'm going to put this phone right in my back pocket. It did not work while well. it was in my back pocket. So we can lock it again like that. So what I'm going to do, go back into the app, go back into the settings, I'll put the activation distance to far because I don't want to have my phone in my hand. It's back in my back pocket. There we go. That's cool. That's really cool. Can lock with two fingers. So as I was editing this video, you know, between the install, the unboxing, and the uh actual configuration of this lock i realized the video was getting kind of long so i'm going to break it up here and we'll do the rest of the like review in a few weeks uh maybe a couple of weeks because there's a couple of more things that i'd like to share with you uh usability and a more long-term use rather than just the cool factor um so if you want to see that video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and it will come out. You'll click the bell icon. It'll notify you when it's there and that will allow you to see the awesomeness that is. And the other thing that we do have coming your way is a big project in the kitchen. What might that be? The suspense is chilling. Maybe that gives you an idea. So that's going to be a series of videos coming up. So hopefully you'll stick around for those as well. I appreciate you stopping by to watch this one. My name's Todd. This is the Alcohol Free RV, where we do mods, repairs, and upgrades along the way. We'll see you next time.